Hey guys, it's Monday, so I wanted to show you what I was gonna be prepping for the week. Well, I'm gonna show you what I'm prepping for lunch this week. I have two meals, and the first meal is going to be grilled chicken pasta. So ingredients for this, you're gonna need some chicken, and I'm going to grill my chicken. Now you can cook it however you want, but I'm gonna grill my chicken for the week, and then you're gonna need some type of pasta. So I picked this thin spaghetti. It's whole wheat from H-E-B. Little cherry tomatoes. You're gonna need some mozzarella cheese. So I put mozzarella like cheese balls into my grocery order and I didn't get them. But luckily I have some shredded mozzarella cheese. Um, so it should be fine. And then you need some balsamic vinegar. So those are the ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe. I'm not doing anything crazy with my chicken. I'm just gonna put some salt and pepper on it and then I'm gonna put it on the grill and cook it until it's done and then we're gonna cut it up. So while that's grilling, I'm going to boil some water and then I'm going to let my pasta cook. So really that's the only cooking you're going to be doing for this lunch. Um, I think it's gonna be a pretty simple meal prep today. The chicken's on the grill and my water is boiling. So talking about the second meal, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna make stuffed sweet potatoes for lunch this week. So I'm gonna have two meals. So I'm going to wash these off, poke holes, and then I'm going to put them on a lined baking sheet and cook them until they are soft. Um, and then I'm grilling chicken, that's gonna go in. So you'll need sweet potatoes, chicken, and then I'm gonna use avocado. So I'll just cut it open, put some salt and pepper, avocado, grilled chicken on top and eat it. And then I'll probably just warm some frozen broccoli up for a side with my stuffed sweet potato. So while all of that is cooking, potatoes are cooking, chicken's cooking, water's still boiling. I'm going to cut my cherry tomatoes in half. I'm gonna do five per. Uh, pasta dish, so I'm just gonna cut them in half. Water is boiling, and I measured, well I weighed, I had three ounces of pasta. I'm gonna do a half cup, so once done I'll measure it out. I don't really know how to measure pasta, but anyway, I'm just gonna put it in, let it get noodly and we are almost done with this first meal. Okay, so I feel like this next part is kind of up to you. I'm not really following a recipe, so um, you can just put the balsamic vinegar on the dish when it's done, or I'm gonna put it in a pan and I'm gonna heat it just to um, make it a little bit thicker, um, and I'm not gonna measure it out. I'm just gonna pour some in. When I um, was before all this, I went and flipped the chicken so it's halfway done. And then I'll just chop it up and it'll be ready to go for the week. Adding more ingredients, um, cause I was thinking, what am I gonna put on top to make it look pretty or taste good? Um, I forgot I have this basil in my fridge. I really like this stuff because it's lightly dried. So it's more fresh than like the the dry that you keep in your pantry, but uh, this lasts like, uh, I think like three months or something. Oh, just kidding. Four weeks, it's been in my fridge longer for four weeks, so, and it still smells fine. So anyways, I'll just have some of this. I'm gonna sprinkle it on top whenever it is done, but it, it does last longer than fresh basil. And they have like cilantro and chives, and anyways, I like this stuff, and I try to keep this in my fridge um, for, I don't know, little toppings, things like this. Okay, so pasta seems to be tender, so I'm going to dump the water out, um, put the tomatoes in the bowl with this balsamic. So mine isn't super thick, but it is a little bit, you can't see it, it's a little bit thicker, but still kind of liquidy. So if you cook it longer, it'll make it like syrupy. Um, I didn't want syrupy, I just wanted a little bit thicker. Oh, oh I gotta look for that. Um, so I'm gonna divide the pasta up between 
my to-go container and then my bowl because I'm gonna eat this for lunch today. Um, five cherry tomatoes on top and I'm gonna put like a sprinkle of mozzarella cheese. Again, if you have uh, the mozzarella balls, which I would recommend doing for this recipe, like three to five, just depending what you want. Um, chicken is still cooking, it's not done yet, but when it's done, I'll cut it up and I'll just put it on top. So I'm gonna do a half a cup, I'm gonna measure it, half a cup of pasta, and then about like four to five ounces of chicken on top. Guys, so grilled chicken is done. I'm just going to cut it up and I'm gonna put uh, chicken on each dish and then I made a piece for Jeremy. And then I have one piece left over for my sweet potato and then I'll prep, I'll grill some more chicken at some point in the week. I don't like to grill it for the whole week because it gets gross. So, we're gonna cut it up and then um, top the basil and it'll be done. Done. The second meal, potatoes are still cooking. Uh, when you're cooking potato, it takes forever. So usually like 45 minutes to an hour, just depending on the size. You can see the sweet potatoes are done. So I already cut one open. And I just put the chicken on top. So when I'm ready to eat it, again, I'm just going to heat it up. I'm gonna put half of an avocado on top. And then I'll probably put some Tony's seasoning and a sriracha on top. And if I, feel like it, I'll add a vegetable, like some frozen broccoli on the side. I'm gonna show you my drink that I am drinking, and I'm making Jeremy one too, because I'm nice. I heated up some water into a mason jar, and this is just green tea, just Lipton. So just let it sit however long, and then I buy these, they're True lemon, this one is raspberry lemonade, so why it, while it's still hot, I'm gonna go ahead, pretty sure the tea bag has been sitting long enough, so I'm gonna take the tea bag out, and then I'm gonna add this packet. So I just added some ice. You have a 10 calorie little treat drink, and got a little bit of caffeine, in the middle of the day just to give you that little extra boost all right guys thanks for watching let me know if you try uh any of the recipes um down in the comments below